Hi. So finally, it's officially okay to be pissed off about the terrorist attack here in Stockholm last Friday. Yeah. And I noticed that I am able to laugh about uh, the discussions that, that is now starting here in Sweden. Yeah. Because it becomes so obvious, these values, these opinions, when you look at what happened, what is workable and not workable, right? So here is the guy that is pissed off. He's the police chief of Grand Gothenburg. Big deal. Okay, his name is Erik Nord. He wants to expel everybody who supports violent extremism. He says it can't be correct that we should support people who wants to throw down this democracy. Yeah, you're starting to like this guy, don't you? Me too. And here's a guy that you probably won't like as much. His name is Morgan Johansson. He's our justice minister. He says no. <laughs> and he demands an explanation from this police chief. <laughs> you understand? Okay, the police chief says, uh, not that it would have prevented the attack last Friday, but really we should be able to deny residence permits for those who support violent extremism. <laughs> yes, I agree. And Morgan Johansson says that those people who have these residence permits, they got them because they are in need of protection. He says, if you send them back, there is a risk that they will be exposed to persecution. Yeah. I'm not making this up. Yeah. Now, also, another guy who is pissed off is Jimmy Walkerson. He wants the government now to be held accountable for what happened last Friday. He says, now that we know uh, what happened, you know, it's time to demand responsibility. Yeah. I I'm happy we have Jimmy Åkesson. He's the chairman of uh, the Sweden Democrats. I think sometimes I feel like um, he's, the, he's one of the very few sane guys left in the parliament. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to uh, the future here. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of discussion. The, the government is of course on the defense and um, they of course and they should be. They've done something, you know, they've done terrible mistakes. They have not faced up to governing, protecting population and uh, they should totally be held accountable. There was another discussion I want to tell you about. This was last night on TV. Jimmy Åkesson was there and they talked about these guys returning from going to war with for ISIS, okay? They're coming back. The Sweden Democrats wants to stop them at the border. The government wants to wants them to come in, right? And there was a representative from the government there. His the, his name is Egeman. He's the Interior Minister. He said, "If you stop them from returning, then they will never be punished." And I cannot accept this. <laughs> yeah, Orkeson said, "Well, they have no business here." I can accept if they don't get to spend time in a Swedish jail. <laughs> so you see, the discussions are becoming interesting. Uh, next election will be a bloodbath. I've, I've told you this before. It's uh, September 2018, all right? And the established political parties are not, I'm telling you, not prepared for what's going to happen. No, no. They are totally unaware of this very quick 
swift change in Swedish opinion. So, uh, and I'm looking forward to everything that's going to happen here in the discussions, in the political debates. You know, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm finally able to laugh again. So that's excellent. Right. Bye.